What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. Right here I have the iPad Pro, here I have the iPad Air 2. This has four gigabytes of RAM, the iPad Pro. The iPad Air 2 has two gigabytes of RAM. And it's worth noting that I don't have any apps running on either device right now. You see the app switcher is empty. I'm gonna open up Safari now. And what I'm going to do, let me just show you, I have no tabs open either on either device. So what we'll do is we'll open up all 20 of these tabs on both devices. And then we'll look at each tab and see if it refreshes after I finish opening up all the tabs on both devices. So we're gonna start with the iPad Pro and then we'll switch over to the iPad Air 2. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap on each tab here. So I'm gonna start with iDownload Blog and once it finishes loading, generally it loads fairly fast. Still loading a little bit, all right. Then I'm just gonna open a new tab and tap the next link. And then I'm just gonna do that continuously until all 20 links are open. I'm gonna speed it up here so you don't have to sit here and wait for me to open up all these tabs. So I'm gonna speed it up. We're gonna zip through this really quick, so hang on. Okay, so we have all 20 tabs opened on both devices here, and here's the moment of truth. Here is how these devices perform against one another. Remember, the iPad Pro has four gigabytes of RAM, so most of the tabs should not have to refresh on the iPad Pro, even though a lot of these websites that we visited are fairly intense as far as assets are concerned. So, first website needed to refresh on the iPad Air 2 was fine on the iPad Pro. Let's try The Verge. You can see it needs to refresh on the iPad Air 2. Opens right up on the iPad Pro. Let's try CNN now. Same story, needs to refresh on the iPad Air 2. Opens right up on the iPad Pro. I don't know what this site is. This is CNET. So it refreshes on the iPad Air 2. And so on. So it's pretty much the same story throughout this entire test. Now granted, the iPad Pro does refresh every now and then, but it's very rare. Uh, the iPad Air 2, almost every site you visit again has to refresh. And uh, there, there's a definite, obvious difference between the two. So although this test is not scientific by any means, it is obvious that four gigabytes of RAM makes a fairly significant difference when browsing the web. Uh, you can visit tabs again without having to wait for them to refresh on the iPad Pro, whereas on the iPad Air 2, tab refreshing is a lot more frequent, not all the time, but definitely a lot more frequent than it is on the iPad Pro. So here's the New York Times, refreshes on the iPad Air 2. ESPN, looks like that needed to refresh on both. Here's Yahoo. Loads right up on the Pro, refreshes on the iPad Air 2. Apple's website loads right up on the Pro, refreshes on the iPad Air 2. Macworld loads right up on the Pro, refreshes on the iPad Air 2. Tesla, same story. <laughs> Daring Fireball, same story. Six Colors, same story. And last but not least, Android Police, same story. So let's go back up to the top. I download blog. Same story. Uh, so you can see folks, the iPad Pro makes for a much better web browsing experience, not just because it is a 12.9 inch screen versus a 9.7 inch screen, that's nice as well, obviously, but because web pages are retained in memory much longer than they are on the iPad Air 2, so that means it's really easy to go back and visit a website you had previously visited, say you opened another app and you went back to Safari and you wanted to visit the website again, well that website in general is gonna load right up when you visit it on the iPad Pro, whereas on the iPad Air 2 in general, it's gonna have to refresh, not a huge deal, but it does make for a more cohesive and smoother browsing experience. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.